it's not about the Maoist kind of logic. Is the reason why the revolution hasn't worked because it wasn't implemented properly. So we need to do more. And the consultant used the same kind of principle. The alternative argument I will make is that there are structural limits to cost recovery. In other words, you can't keep generating returns out of the national economy because ultimately it affects the consumer and how much they can buy. The con contradiction is that it's not a level playing field, funnily enough. If you look at Timken, an American Bulgarian manufacturer, it competes with Japanese companies where the stock market demands just 1% return on sales. Consider that good. Timken, 5% return on sales. It also competes with companies that has family ownership. So just making a profit is sufficient. So you've got shareholder value companies that are actually inhibited in what they can do. And if you look at the macroeconomic trends, what you're looking at is, look, there's crisis after crisis. There's a pattern that's beginning to emerge. And that's why I argue that this is probably a really exciting time because I think we're eventually going to wake up to all these kind of metrics only lead to one thing, bubbles. We had the Asian um, hedge and currency crisis. We had the new economy crisis. We had the net uh, NASDAQ crash. We had the banking crisis. All of them appear to have a kind of a 10 years kind of cycle. In terms of stock market, Think about this for a second. We make so much about the P-E ratio, but a ratio of uh, even 100 to 1 means you will have to earn 100 years of profit at that level to just to cover the cost of the price of the share. That's simply unsustainable. So where does this leave us? Well, it leaves us in a tricky spot. Because instability is now built in. Management you will go into companies, you will generate these returns. It's the framework within which business will operate that will have to adjust. But you will be incentivized to generate shareholder value, and you will do it. But the structural factors are straightforward. 40% of the population, or it's actually 55% now, filter their savings through the stock market. This is simply unsustainable. The structural explanation is, that the middle classes are going to have to suffer the burden of adjustment. <coughs> what, that does, what does that mean? Well, we could have too much, too much money chasing too few good assets that generate returns. And those assets that are good are going to end up being hyperinflated. But anyway, that's financialization and shareholder value. Do the reading, it's relevant.